Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the remote desktop RDP port on your Windows computer. So basically, um, if you get around Windows a little bit, port 3389 is the remote desktop protocol port for your Windows computer. So if for some reason you're looking to go ahead and change that, so perhaps the security measure or perhaps you are having an issue with a web server, or your administrator on a system network, perhaps you're looking to go ahead and add an extra layer of security by changing that. So we're going to go ahead and just show you guys how to do that. So pretty straightforward process. We're going to go and start by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, you just want to go ahead and select the File tab. Select Export. I'd recommend the file name should be the date in which you are making the backup. Save it to a convenient location on your computer and Export range should be selected to All. And then just select the Save button to finalize that selection. And then if you ever needed to restore it back, you just would select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. So now that you've done that, we're going to start by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the System folder. Should be a folder that says Current Control Set. Go ahead and double click on that. Should be a Control folder under here. Double click on that. Locate the terminal server right here. Go ahead and double click on that. Should be a Win Stations folder under here. Double click on that. And then finally, there should be an RDP minus sign or slash TCP folder. Go ahead and just left click on that one time. So if you need to pause the video at this time and take note of our registry path that we've gone under, it's at the top of our screen right here. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone under up to this point. So now we are going to go ahead on the right side and locate the port number D word value. So just scroll down here. And you can see that right here. Go ahead and double click on that. So you want to go ahead and change this value data to wherever you want. Just please make sure you're typing in the right number here. And also, I would recommend taking note of whatever number or value is here before you change anything to begin with. So if you need to change it back, you can just have it a piece of paper or written down on a notepad file or something. Just change it back. Again, we did make the registry back up for a reason. But you just want to make sure you type in this value data properly here. So whatever you want to change it to, you want to change it properly. Make sure base is decimal. So you can see that the value data clearly changed. So make sure you set it to decimal and then change the value data in here. So you can see it says 3389. But if you kept it as hexadecimal, you get some weird value in here. So I would recommend it's a little bit easier to decipher when it's set to decimal view here. So set it to decimal and then change in the value data. And if for some reason you wrote down the hexadecimal value by mistake, you can always just type it back in one selecting hexadecimal. And then if you change it to decimal once it's already typed in, you'll see the corresponding numerical value. So, you know, you're really never messed up even if you wrote down the hexadecimal value because you can just change it to the decimal view. So just want to put that out there, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.